Well, how you doing, folks? Uh, this is Mike Watson coming at you from Watson's Wagons with another tank uh, model kit review. Uh, this time we're going to review a 125th scale uh, British Centurion Mark III by Tamiya. Uh, what a beautiful looking box, right? Uh, this model kit is just super detailed. Individual track links, movable suspension, complete interior, figures, I mean, you name it. Um, this thing is awesome. I've always wanted one of these things when I was a kid. These kits have been around for a long time. Um, but uh, this was a gift from a dear friend of mine who is no longer with us that I used to work with in the Bureau of Prisons years ago. Um, but I thought you might be interested in what's inside uh, this box and uh, we'll just do a little it really isn't a review because it's so awesome that I mean I could even say anything negative about it but I want to show you what's in it and uh, give you an idea of how the parts look and things like that okay so here we go 125th scale Tamiya uh, British Army and uh, the item number on this particular kit is 30614.8500 all right let's get busy now let's just take a look at the box All right, so there's advertising there for their other vehicles. Here's the side. Okay. And the end. So, it is boxed and sectioned. Uh, anybody that got the uh, the 125th scale Tiger uh, have experienced the same thing. Um, well, I remember when I was a kid and I built that Tiger. Boy, I had a great time with that. Now, it does come with two sets of instructions, okay? Uh, one of them, obviously, in English. And the other, I'm assuming that's Japanese. Okay? So, who? Huh? Now... The graphics on this, uh, these instructions are pretty cool. There's a couple of pages of vehicle history, uh, which all tank kits come with. There's a really nice um, line drawing of the vehicle. Okay, kind of like a blueprint with uh, identifications in there. And now this is interesting. So most of the tank kits start with the hull, right? Build up the suspension, get the tracks, get it built up, and then work on the turret. This particular kit starts with the turret, all right? And all of its uh, internal details. So that's interesting. It goes from turret to upper hull, suspension, and uh, continues to work itself down uh, all the way through. There's some nice black and white photos at the end here. Your parts list is on the back of the instruction sheet. Okay, inside the kit, your decal set. It's a package of hardware, coil springs, nuts and bolts, Miscellaneous pieces. All right. Your hull section. Pretty good size. Doesn't look like there's hardly any cleaning needing to be done on this thing. Notice all the holes. Tail end. Front slope area. Okay. Your tracks are individually linked and come in this box. So I went ahead and unbagged um, all the parts for you so you can see them a little bit better. And uh, we'll start with the left side here. Uh, the first bag came with your tank commander, okay? And portions of your turret, 
which oddly enough is one of the first things that you build on the kit. The next sprue, set of sprues, uh, came with the additional figures. All right, these are really well detailed and they're nice and tall and big. Yeah. Okay, this appears to be a combination of interior parts and engine parts. Included some shells and shell casings and things of that nature. In that particular bag, excuse me, in the in the third uh, bag or so that's in here, you have your main gun, your man, your main gun, and your mantlet. All right, some turret parts, some hull parts, a little mixed bag of stuff. I can pretend to know what this is, but they do look like suspension parts. Okay, right side of the box. Now we're talking internal hull parts and some turret parts. Okay, basic engine details. Continue on with the same type of parts. It's a mixed bag of of those internal pieces. Okay, those are molded in gray, by the way. All right. Here's your exterior of your hull, upper portion, front slope, etc. This sprue has your side skirts and other exterior bolt on parts. Not your side skirts, but your fenders. Okay, your top fender pieces. A lot of plastic here. This one has your side skirts on it. And suspension parts. Next you have your poly caps, tow ropes, and things like that. These are Kind of that rubberized uh, poly cap type material and these are all the hubs and stuff for your road wheels okay and the last sprue that's in here is your road wheel set sprockets and things all right very nice model and um this is not something that I'm ready to jump into just yet because I have a whole handful of other things to work on that I have to do before I get to these. But I thought you might like to see this particular model. It is really sharp and uh, Tamiya never fails, right? They always have a good product and um, I think they take good care of, of us in the modeling community and give us a good quality product that we can all be proud of when we're done. So having said all that, we're going to pack this thing back up, and I hope you enjoyed this very quick review of this 125th scale um, British Centurion. Okay, that's it. Let me take a couple of pictures for you. We'll add them at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.